Hello everyone, my name is Rishi and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to program a microbit keypad. So before we start programming, so let's see how the keypad works. So there are basically 8 pins on the keypad as you can see over here and I've labeled them as pin 1 R1 so this stands for row number 1. So as you can see over here, our row number 1 is um, now values 1, 2, 3, and A, and then pin number 2 and R2 stands for values like 4, 5, 6, and then B, and then pin number 3, R3, has uh, values like 7, 8, 9, and C. Finally, pin number 4 um, initializes all values of row number 4, which is um, the asterisk sign, 0, hashtag, as well as D. And then the next four uh, pin values for the keypad is pin number five, which initializes column column number one, which is, which includes one, four, seven, and the um, asterisk sign. And then pin number six initializes column number two, which is two, five, eight, and zero. And finally, pin number seven initializes column number three, which includes three, six, nine, and hashtag the symbol and finally pin number eight initializes the final column which includes a b c and d and in order to add and in order to access these values it's similar like longitude longitude and latitude you know and we just need the coordinates of longitude and latitude to get like a specific value for example if you want to get um, so if, if you want to figure out um, if the user clicked number one then we need to call pin number one row number one and we need to call pin number five and column number one in order to pinpoint the exact value of what the uh, user is trying to click on and for our program the pin connections that we're going to do is that for pin number one or the row number one it's going to be pin number 16 for row number two it's going to be pin number 15. For pin number 3, it's going to be pin number 14. For um, row 4, it's going to be num pin number 13. And finally, for column number 1, it's going to be pin number 2. For column 2, then it's going to be pin number 12. Column 3, it's going to be pin number 8. And last but not least, for column 4, it's going to be pin number 1. So let's begin programming. So um, head on to my code so that we can program our micro bit and let's do um, new project and we can name it as keypad program and for our project we'll only be needing the forever loop and we can just delete the on start and we're also going to be programming this in Python so first we're going to be initializing our first column of values which is number one four seven as well as the asterisk sign so to initialize the first column of values we can do pins dot digital right pin and um, we're going to do instead of pin zero it's pin number two and we're going to change from zero to one so basically we're um pin number two is the um fifth uh pin that you plugged into your micro bit and number one initializes all the values on the keypad which is number one four and seven as well as the asterisk asterisk sign and to get the specific values on like the micro bit then we type if pins dot digital write pin digital read pin sorry um, so if it's number 16 which is the first pin that you're supposed to plug onto your micro bit and if that's equal to one then we basically just do basic dot show number and display the number one similarly we can just do an elif command and say if pins dot digital read pin instead of pin number 16 this is pin number 15 which is the second pin of the my on the keypad and if um, this is equal to one then the we should display the number four then we just continue on elif if digital read pin is equal to 14 and if that's equal to 1 then we do basic dot short number is equal to 7 and finally if pins dot digital digital read pin and instead of pin 14 it's pin 13 
and if that's also equal to one then we do uh, basic dot show number and instead of show number it's actually supposed to be show string because we cannot because the asterisk sign is not a uh, number value and we can it can only be displayed as a string value and instead of the number zero we do quotation marks and do the asterisk sign in between and um, finally we're just going to deinitialize our um, first column so we can do this by digital right pin and we're going to write to the first column which we plugged into pin 2 and we're just going to keep the value of 0 and now we're going to continue on to our column number 2 so we so for easier purposes we can just copy this so we can just copy this and once we copy this now we just need to change the values so first um, so to initialize the second column values we um we need to set this to pin number 12 and as the number of one and basically uh, pin number 12 is the pin 6 on your keypad and we just keep um, these the same but however we show that we change the display number values so this is going to be number 2 this is going to be number 5 this is going to be number 8 and finally the last one it's going to be show number and it, the number is going to be number 0 and we finally deinitialize the whole range um, the whole column values to pin 12 and now we're going to be continuing on to our col column number 3 and as you can see over here, I just found that there's an unexpected indent. So basically, we just um, move all of this back by one so that it doesn't create like an error in our program when we're downloading this. Okay, and once we're done with this, we can just continue on with our uh, next column. So over here, instead of pin number two we do pin number eight and we can change this over here as well and um, in when number one is pressed then we show the number as pin uh, we show the number as three this number will be number six nine and finally we're going to be showing the hashtag symbol which is just shift 3 and now we're able to successfully initialize our uh, col column number 3 and last but not least we just oh, we just need to quickly fix this one so we can just select all of this and click on uh, shift tab which is automatically just going to move them all back and now we're going to do our final one which is going to be digital write pin and we're going to do digital write pin to number one which is supposed to be the uh, pin number eight on your keypad and once we change these two values over here now instead of showing number we're just going to do we're just going to delete this and we're going to show our um, string values because the last uh, column is going to be a b c and d so we're going to do show string show string and instead of hello which is the default we're just going to do a and we can just copy this and we can just change it for the values over here and instead of a this is going to be b and then this is going to be C this is going to be C and then last but not least this is going to be oh I forgot to paste it but this is going to be show string and this is going to be D and um, we had the same indentation issue so we can just click shift tab so that we can get them all aligned and we can just delete pass 
and now your program is going to be um, successfully working. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to look at look for more programming videos in the future. See you.